Welcome to the Crossroads of Destiny and Avatar The Last Airbender Universe podcast. Right now, we're getting ready to talk about Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender, one episode at a time. I'm Chad Hopkins, and I'm joined by my co-hosts and best friends, Andrew Grant and Melanie Grant. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've been talking about doing this project now for a few months yes. and uh, just trying to find the time amidst quarantine and our work schedules and whatnot. Babies. <laughs> Babies. Babies. <laughs> you, you have one baby and another on the way. So yeah, that's definitely a, a, a contributing factor. Uh, well, what we're going to do before we start talking about what the show is going to be, what it's going to look like, is we want to introduce ourselves and sort of talk about what we do and just like our lives briefly so you get an idea of us as a person outside the podcast. Uh, I'll go ahead and start off because I'm probably the one familiar to you if you're listening, I suppose, maybe. I live in the Dallas area. I'm a musician and I teach middle school band. I've been podcasting for seven years now. I started as a co-host on a show called Movie Bite for about 50 episodes. And then I started my own podcast called Cinescope in 2016. And that's where I discuss movies with guests, uh, movies that we love and that other people love and why we love them. Uh, so we're not criticizing anything. That was something important to me. And you both have been on that show as well multiple yep. times. We have. A lot of fun. Yeah. And then I started another podcast in 2017 that has since wrapped up now called An American Workplace, where we talked about another TV show, The Office, and that was a lot of fun. And the thing I tell people about podcasting is once you start one show, you always want to do more. Mm -hmm. And so after I finished The Office, I was itching to, to talk about another show. And the Avatar The Last Airbender just seemed right for the picking. And this is a show that I've been wanting to do for like two years now. And so I'm glad to finally be sitting down talking with y'all about it. Yeah, we're super excited. Yeah. So Absolutely. Andrew, do you want to talk about yourself a little bit? Sure. Um, I too am from the I'm from the Dallas area. Went to school with Chad throughout middle school and high school. Um, we went to college together at Texas Tech. Reckon. I studied animal science and was in the veterinary industry for a while, and then kind of took a a hard turn. We definitely changed some things up a bit, especially when the family started growing. I started looking for a new job and ended up working in a data analytic field and have loved it. So it was very surprising. That's something I've never studied before or um, even was really remotely involved in has now become my main focus and a nice new career that I'm actually very excited about. We're now living up in Little Elm, just outside of Frisco. So close but not really dallas is huge and so it's <laughs> so it's a it's it's a bit of a, a ways for for chad to to be up here but we're definitely grateful that we're able to all get together and, and talk about a show that i know at least for chad and i has been very important in many ways especially in our young adolescence but even growing into adulthood being able to rewatch it and and take some of the lessons from it again has been really great so that's what i do now other than that, I'm a father of one, almost two, and love every second of that. The other part about my job that I love is that I'm able to work from home very easily. So I get to spend a lot of time with my almost one and a half year old. So that's always been a great blessing for me. Okay, Melanie, how about you? So I am from Austin originally, and I met both Chad and Andrew at Texas Tech as well. Welcome. Andrew and I have been married almost three years in October. And like you said, we are expecting another little one here in Thanksgiving time. Something that I do every day is that I work at a pediatric dental office, which dental has always been part of my life. My mom is a dental hygienist, and I really thought I would never, ever get into this field just because I grew up with it my whole life, but ended up, of course, loving it and really appreciating every day being able to work with children. So I kind of relate to these kids a lot with cartoons and things like with movies and new music and all this stuff. I'm one of the ones at the, my job that really knows a lot of it. So I was really excited whenever you approached us about this podcast, because I honestly, The Last Airbender is something that I never watched as a kid. I am the big newbie on this show. <laughs> you guys will very quickly find out how much I do not know about it. <laughs> I've always heard about it. My brother watched it whenever it was first on on television but i don't know i just it never got into my my list of things to watch for whatever reason but i know it's been a really big part of both you chad and andrew's life so it's really cool to be able to see it from a different perspective i think 
other than that, like Andrew's mentioned, we have the, our little boy who is tiring, but he is the <laughs> best. <laughs> he yes. is everywhere now. God love him. Yes, I know. But <laughs> he is the biggest part of our life. And we absolutely love our, our time with him. And Andrew gets to spend a lot of time with him. I'm able to work from home part of the time as well. So we both thankfully have been able to have careers that we can still be a part of our family be present be present with yeah him. and that's what has both been important for for us i think mm -hmm. so yeah we're really excited to get part of this we haven't actually podcast together i think since before we got married yeah the last time i think we podcasted together would have been when we were actually living together yes oh yeah we did live together for about a year yeah so that was three years ago just about we were just engaged at that yeah. point yeah we talked about uh i think up yeah, we talked right? about Up once, and I talked about a goofy movie and a couple yep. other movies. Oh my gosh. Andrew, How to Train yep. Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon. We love that. One. I think we did Harry Potter, and I think mm -hmm. we did maybe Finding Nemo. Was that the other one? Possibly. Y'all should check out Cinescope. It's actually really fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one thing that's already setting this apart from other shows that I've done in the past, and it, it's typical for like what we've done in the past, is we're sitting in the room together and we're, we're recording, which isn't something I always get the opportunity to do, but I'm glad that we're going to be able to sit around a table at least once a week, hopefully, and talk about the show. So we're going to go ahead and transition into talking about what this show is and is not going to be. So starting off what this show will not be. We're not reviewing episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender. We are here because Andrew and I are fans of it and because Melanie will soon be a fan of it. <laughs> you will enjoy this show. <laughs> oh, awkward if I don't. So. I mean, we're not here to say that the show is perfect or flawless, but we're also not here to complain about it when it gets maybe a little juvenile for us since it is basically marketed as a kid's show. Right. We might voice a criticism or a small qualm or complaint we have every once in a while, but we're not here to say whether something is necessarily good or bad. And we're also, because Melanie has not seen this, we're not going to be spoiling future episodes. If you came here from my office podcast, we are going to be talking about the episode and how it relates to past episodes, maybe, and uh, the journey characters have gone on. But we're not going to be talking about like, oh, in three episodes, this is going to connect back to what we just right, talked about. Right. Or we'll just wait until you see what happens in season three, Melanie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we're, we're not going to be doing that kind of stuff. No. We want this to be a show where friends who have and haven't seen the show can experience it together in a more meaningful way. Yeah. And so. explore it. Yeah, and so that, that goes into what this show will be. We're going to be journeying through the show, and we're going to be talking about important story and character beats. Again, if you've listened to my other podcasts, my, my biggest focus in talking about any kind of story-based media that I enjoy is I like talking about character growth. I like mm. talking about a journey that somebody goes on and how they interact with others and how they grow or sometimes not grow over time. And so that's what I really want to focus on with this. And something that you might have noticed in the intro at the very beginning of the show is that I said this is an Avatar The Last Airbender universe podcast. So, universe. <laughs> so what that means is that when we finish The Last Airbender, we are going to be talking about the comics. We are going to be talking about the sequel series, Legend of Korra. And yes, at some point, we will even talk about the live action <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan movie. And I wish you could see the face Andrew just made. Andrew. Uh, it's just because you just love M. Night Shyamalan, oh, oh my God. don't you, one Melanie? Time. So Melanie, you do not know what you're in for with this movie. No, I've heard it's pretty terrible, but yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, from us, <laughs> I will reserve all judgment. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. It has to happen, it has to rip that band aid off. And we will eventually be talking about the announced Netflix live action series well, when it releases. Which is going to be exciting because unlike the movie, it's going to be run by the showrunners from the animated show, which is pretty cool. So yeah. it's, it's going to be made by the same people, just in a different kind of medium. So we are in this for the long haul. Right now, we've got episodes mapped out to like 2023. So buckle in, everybody. We're going to be going on a long, long journey. Here we go. We are ready. <laughs> And lastly, what the show will be is this is going to be a group experience. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your thoughts on upcoming episodes so we can maybe share them when we talk about it. Or maybe you bring a, a question that we haven't thought of and we can talk about it because it poses interesting discussion. If you have questions for us or whatever else, you can reach out on social media and let us know. And we'll share our social media channels at the end. So all that said, We've got just a little bit more to talk about in this preview trailer episode. Andrew, what's your history with the show? 
So my history with the show, obviously we're, we're talking kind of middle school age for us, um, 2005 to 2007, was I wasn't ever like immediately, I, I had no idea that Avatar the, the Last Airbender like existed until I was at home one day and a couple of episodes came on Nickelodeon, which was weird enough for me to be watching anyway. I was definitely a Disney kid growing up, so it was weird for me to be on Nickelodeon, period. I think it kind of speaks to The Last Airbender in the sense that even out of context, I probably watched some episode in the middle of season two and was just like, hey, this is really cool. Like, <laughs> I kind of geeked out about it a little bit, you know, growing up with Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon and all of that, those other things. It was one of those cool elemental, you know, what would happen if we could be able to do this. It was just like a fun little exploration that I can look back on now and be like, oh, that's what I, that was my thought process. When I originally saw it, it was obviously middle school thoughts of, whoa, fire just came out of his hands. Like, (laughs) you know, it was, it was simple as that. Like that was, that was really cool. And so at some point I started to look for the last airbender, like. If I saw that it was on, even with old shows that I would be already invested in, I would stop watching those shows to go watch, you know, a marathon of The Last Airbender. So I could get caught up a lot of it because when I, when I first started, I'm almost positive I started somewhere in the middle of season two or something like that. So I finally got caught up when they started doing reruns and marathons and things like that. And then from that point on, I was just in it. I watched the entire series. You got it sometime in college. We watched through it again. We then went, at that point, The Legend of Korra season one was out. We watched all of that. And then literally the minute Netflix released it, I rewatched it, (laughs) Um, which has been kind of a bigger focus on now that it's so readily accessible that kind of brought this back to light because you could definitely tell that there was a boom of people on the internet who either had never been exposed to Avatar The Last Airbender or were like finally you know this show that has just been so awesome is now something that we don't have to go out and purchase it's like it's literally there on netflix so Mm -hmm. it finally got that light that i think a lot of us thought it deserved and now it since it's been out i've watched it three times because (laughs) why not it's it's great (laughs) so and now i'm just really excited in fact i had to put a stop to it because i was like Melanie, you need to come watch this with me. Like, let's go. Like, the, you know, you need to watch the, the Last Airbender. And she was just like, but I thought we were going to do a podcast about it. And I was just like, <laughs> right, right. So, Chad, we need to get this going because I'm yeah. tired of not being able to show this right. to my wife. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we need to nerd out together. We need to, we need to get this podcast going. So, you know, ultimately, I think more on a deeper level, it was one of those shows that was so readily, like, accessible. like. It was interesting enough superficially for me to be intrigued by it. And then it hits you with a lot of this like deeper meaning and theological thinking and a lot of rhetoric in the show where you're just like all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know, it could be days later and you're like, he had a point. He, he was onto something there. Like, you know, you really start to think like it, it gets you thinking. Mm-hmm. I know maybe that might not have been like the case as you're watching the show and just enjoying people shoot fire out of their hands. But at the same time, I thought it was also very important that it wasn't just it didn't just stop being a superficially awesome show. It actually made me change the way I thought about a lot of things. Right. And I definitely want to go into more detail, but obviously that would be more spoilers. So, right. So we'll definitely dive into that as those things come up, but it was just, there was, there was just so many awesome characters that had so many dimensions to them that the more you thought about or rewatched or anything like that, you just saw and appreciated more and more of it. So that was my attraction to Avatar The Last Airbender and has been since. So every time I rewatch it, I just kind of pick up on new little things that I never really, really thought of before. So. As a whole, it was a really fun show to watch and loved every time I've rewatched it. So that's why I th- thought this was going to be a really fun project for all of us to really explore the show as a whole. Yeah, you already said a lot of the things that I like about it. So I won't, I won't echo those right now because we'll adjust them in time. But really what it boils down to me, what I like about this show is its characters. I will say that there's at least one character. Well, there's multiple characters on the show that go on quite a journey and that are really special to me. But I think this show also contains like one, one of the all-time best characters from anything. 
So I can't wait to dive into that character arc as we go. (laughs) (laughs) And one other thing I'll I'll mention is you actually have a little bit more history of the show over time than I do. Because I I might have seen a couple episodes as a kid, but I didn't Mm -hmm. watch it as a kid. Mm -hmm. Um, It just wasn't something I... I was interested in it, I think. I remember it being advertised on Nickelodeon, but I didn't watch through the whole thing. Uh, So really, the first time I watched it all was in college, was the first time I watched through the whole series. And that's the funny thing. It used to be on Netflix. That's the first, that's how we watched it when we were in college. It was on Netflix. It went away and it's it coming back is it coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad it's available. I do have it on Blu-ray twice over though. So that's pretty fun. (laughs) (laughs) And one last thing before we get to our last sort of segment before we say goodbye for this episode is the title of the podcast. All you need to know right now is that it is a reference to a specific quote or a moment from the show, The Crossroads of Destiny. But really, it's a good sum up for the journey that the characters go on. And uh, that's all we need to say about that for now. And we'll, we'll talk about it when we get to the reference, I suppose. So Our last moment for now is going to be a recurring segment in every episode, or at least that's the plan right now. We're calling it Predicting the Future. And this is when (laughs) Melody is going to get the chance to say what she thinks is happening (laughs) next before it happens. And then the next episode will follow up and see how right or not right she was. (laughs) It's most likely going to be not right. (laughs) And I think it's going to upset me every time. I'm super excited about this segment. (laughs) Uh, So, first off, have you seen any of the show before? And do you remember what you've seen? So I have seen, I think, one episode. And it was because of the two of you. Mm-hmm. Whenever we did live together several years ago, I don't know, I think you might have gotten in on Blu-ray or something or it was I available. I had a maybe not so legal rip in my what? Dropbox folder. You can neither confirm nor deny these allegations. <laughs> <laughs> And so you guys, I remember you guys being so stoked about me watching it. And I almost wanted to tell you guys, like, don't build it up so much because you know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hate it or because you guys asleep. love it. Oh, yeah. Or fall asleep. <laughs> That's going to be a recurring joke on this podcast. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like my sleep. <laughs> That's Whatever. why we're recording at 1.30, just to make sure that Melanie doesn't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, it's iffy. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Love you, babe. Yeah, you're lucky we're married, sir. I am. So the I think we kind of went through this, through this the other day. Little elements of what I do remember from the first episode. I remember a guy with I thought it was a wine stain birthmark on his face, but apparently both the looks I got whenever I said that from the boys that was not correct. But I remember him, and I remember a boat. And I remember a giant block of ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she told us that the other day. And I said, good. I'm glad you remember that because the title of episode one is The Boy and the Iceberg. (laughs) (laughs) So I was like, so I do remember some things. Piece that all together. (laughs) (laughs) And then I remember a fuzzy creature. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that that is the lot. I I don't know why I don't remember it so well. I usually have a pretty good memory, Mm -hmm. especially of things I've watched. So I'm excited to see how all those pieces that I do remember kind of fit into the show. Because from what I gathered from the two of you is that those moments that I do remember were pretty big in that first episode. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, that's, that's all I really do remember from that. I know the, you guys are going to kill me. I don't even remember his name. Um, <laughs> yep. Want to tell him about that? <laughs> it's the kid with the blue arrow on his yep. head. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. What was his name? Aang. 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 Okay. So... <laughs> He's the only character that really stands out on my brain just because I've, I've seen parts of the show as I'm walking through the living room or something because my husband is perpetually watching it. Yep. But honestly, yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions in quick su- succession because they all kind of relate. Sure. First, do you have any guesses for what the show entails? Do you have any general sort of expectations for the show? And do you have any questions now that you sort of might want to revisit as we go throughout that you want answered while watching? So I do want to know the relationship between the guy who has the scar on his face and Aang. I feel like I feel like there's a really, really big connection between the two of them. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to know what happened to his face mm-hmm. um, because I feel like that's a really big story arc because he's so angry. And let's see, what was the? I know it has. <laughs> it's gonna sound so funny. I know it has to do with elements just because I do remember the theme song like that much. I really don't. Mm -hmm. But 
I know it has to do with some kind of element of the elements. And what was the other question? I'm so sorry. I already lost it. Do you have any questions about what you want any to Any questions? Well, no, that's what it was. I really want to know, like, oh, gotcha. their association with each other. Mm-hmm. How so angry. I think there's a girl. Like, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is not good. And where the little old man comes into play. Great. Which I don't remember his name either. I love the old man. <laughs> oh, that's the only other thing I do know about the show. I forgot to mention that. Oh, yeah. So, Andrew... I, I, broke, um, I broke down. Had to show you something. He did. He showed me something. Andrew really likes to see how much emotion he can evoke out of me. <laughs> so, he wanted to really see if he could make me cry it's the other game. day. It's Yeah, he plays it all the time. <laughs> and it happened to be a scene where the older gentleman is going through this town and kind of everybody he interacts with, he touches in some way of like helping them or um like this little boy he was crying he calmed him down and so he's just going throughout his whole day-to-day activities i guess Mm -hmm. and then the whole thing ended with him at the gravesite of i think his son something like you can't tell me you can't tell me okay you're not gonna confirm confirm (laughs) so it ended up there and i was of course a puddle by the end of it which achieved his goal of making me cry. I'm tearing up just a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is the only other thing I do remember of this show. Fans of the show know exactly which episode you're talking about. So we'll leave it at that. We are going to be watching the first two episodes uh, shortly and talking about them later today in our official episode one. But for now, this is the Crossroads of Destiny. We're super excited to dive into mm-hmm. Avatar The Last Airbender with all of you. And we want you to please reach out and share the show with fellow The Last Airbender fans and with people who need to watch it, like Melanie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so here is the outline of all of our contact information. This is going to be in the show notes. We can be found on Facebook at facebook.com slash xroadspod. That's xroadspod. And that's also our at on Twitter, xroadspod. You can go and find us on Apple Podcasts. If you're listening to this, you can find us on Apple Podcasts. Go ahead and drop us a rating or a review based on what you hear now, or you can wait a couple episodes and do that then. But the, the big thing is, if you do that, it's a huge help to the show and it helps us gain visibility so we can grow our audience and introduce more people to exploring The Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. And you can also email feedback and ideas to xroadspod at gmail.com. So really, if you can just remember xroadspod, that's all of our social channels. And then I'm excited about this one. You can also leave us a voicemail. And the phone number for that is 3145 yip yip, <laughs> which I don't know if Melanie gets. Yeah. Good. Okay. But everybody else who's seen the show gets it. Yep, and yep. so if you need that, that's spelled out. That's 314-594-7947. Okay. So 3145 yip yip. <laughs> And if you he keep... laughs again, <laughs> <laughs> I was proud of it. That, Y'all that, just can't help yourself. It's fantastic. I yeah. love it. So I mean, much. that's something I did with the Office podcast too. Is I think it was uh, something Pretz Day was our phone number oh, for Pretz the Office Day. podcast. So <laughs> it's Pretzel Day. Pretzel Day. Three hundred and sixty-four days till <laughs> Pretzel Day. <laughs> <laughs> I like associating the phone numbers with the content. So if you want to leave us a voicemail, like we're not going to answer the phone and talk to you. Sorry, we're not. But if you leave us a voicemail. We will maybe play it on the show. The, the way you increase your likelihood of getting played on the show is you keep it short and sweet, keep it direct, and uh, give us something to talk about. So there might be a Patreon page sometime in the future. It does not exist yet, but we would love to be able to provide bonus content in mm-hmm. exchange for your monthly support. We would really love that. So in the meantime, we're going to drop our own social channels <laughs> that some of us may or may not use very much. Or Chad's, Chad's social channels. Yeah, mostly, mostly mine. <laughs> So in general, the best place to get in contact with the show is going to be the stuff we've already mentioned, X Roads Pod. You can find me on Twitter at Chadadada. That is C-H-A-D-A-D-A-D-A. My other podcasts, just to throw them out there, if you haven't heard of them, if you didn't come from them, uh, there's the Cinescope Podcast, which is a movie discussion show. And you can find that on Twitter at Cinescope Pod or thecinescopepodcast.com. And there's the Office Podcast, which uh, is called An American Workplace. You can find that at WorkplacePod and WorkplacePodcast.com. Now, do y'all want to share any social media? I mean, y'all can try. It's, <laughs> I'm on Facebook. I scroll through things. I mainly watch tasty videos on there. And then I do have a Twitter. Probably hasn't been accessed since 2016. But that if is... anything, your Instagram... My Instagram, that's true. So my Instagram is MelanieAmanda44. You can look for me there. You're going to see a lot of cute pictures of a baby because that's basically all I post. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you can try. 
And I haven't posted anything online since like our wedding day. Yeah. And that was almost three years ago. So I've deleted Twitter. I scroll through my Facebook and I think I accessed Instagram three weeks ago. So if you want to get a hold of Andrew, honestly, just contact me or Chad. Yeah. He won't answer. otherwise. I will probably be more involved with the actual podcast, Twitter, every and everything like that. I might re-download Twitter just to, to be logged into that, and uh, that will be the best way to, to access me. Okay, so there you have it. You can find more details or information on this podcast and show notes and access to the full archive. If you're listening to this after we've been going for a little bit and we have other episodes, that will be X-Roads Pod, which I still have to purchase. So xroadspod.com. <laughs> so uh, that's it, everybody. You'll hear next from us in episode one of Crossroads of Destiny when we talk about book one, chapter one and two of Avatar The Last Airbender, the boy in the iceberg and the Avatar returns. See you then. (laughs) 